भर में दिखाने की कोशिश की जमामा गोल्डस्मिथ बोल न्यूज के नुमाइंदा मोइन जुबैर को खसूस इंटरव्यू दे रही थी Jamaima thank you so much for giving time to Bold News and uh, as a journalist uh, it's part of my duty uh, to record interview like celebrities like you but today I'm really honored uh, to record your interview uh thank you. yeah welcome you gave a very deep and inside view of pakistani culture through your film uh, tell us about uh, the inspiration behind this uh, film um why well, can tell you that it's inspired by my 10 years of living in Pakistan obviously um and that my intention behind it was to make a film that celebrated Pakistan and Pakistanis on the world stage you know we don't often see Pakistan in technicolor on the big screen we see black and white bad news about Pakistan and when Pakistanis are in films it's normally like zero dark 30 or homeland whether the terrorists or the like shady isi operatives or so so i promise frankly and it gets a bit depressing you know my pakistani friends and also my children get a bit depressed always being presented like that and so i wanted to do something more colorful and more hopeful and more fun and show a bit of the beauty of lahore and the architecture and the music and the food and the color and the mandi dances etc um and i just really hope that pakistanis like it okay jamaima uh, uh, your film is going to be released on uh, 3rd of march uh, in pakistan uh, uh, these a uh, few minutes back i have uh, watched the trailer of this film uh, what i have perceived through uh, watching this uh, uh, trailer you talk about uh, uh, love and arranged marriages is it so it's a british asian rom-com okay. and in it what do you suggest love or arranged marriages um i don't suggest either uh-huh. um as in i don't think one is better uh necessarily than the other and i don't think the film is saying that either all it is saying is that the preconceptions that a lot of westerners who don't have uh experience in pakistan or haven't met pakistanis who had arranged marriage have a tendency to look down on the idea of arranged marriage and think of it as a an outdated tradition and i think the film puts forward the idea that a it's not that a the british royal family were doing arranged marriages up until the last generation and also b what it's you know evolved into which is essentially an introduction by the people who know you best and love you the most is not such a bad idea when you think that so many people in the west are having their partners chosen by a random algorithm on a dating app so i think the point of view was to interrogate both methods of finding a life partner and love and to look at the ideas of you know i remember i always used to hear people saying we don't start with love we end with love with arranged marriage you start with love but you end up falling out of love we simmer then boil we don't fall into love we walk into it and i was interested in that as an idea and so that's where the film idea came from okay jamaima uh, despite the fact you are not in pakistan but uh, here in pakistan you have a huge fan following any special message for those uh, who are uh, uh, still in link with you or your fans any message yeah special message special message is um thank you so much for all the love and warmth that i've always experienced from pakistan and i really hope you enjoy the film and i really hope you understand the intention behind it which was um that it was made with a lot of love okay for the country and the people okay what was the reaction of kasim and suleiman uh, after watching this film they really liked it i was terrified to show them because they're my harshest critics and they they were really moved by it and they were i think they were proud okay which human cause is uh, close to your heart which what human cause any human any cause, cause you mean like charity yeah you mean like charity wall 
I don't have one particular thing, but I um I definitely uh you know I I've been trying to raise money for the floods in Pakistan because you know the news cycle moves on so fast. It's really hard to keep the attention on a humanitarian disaster of that scale because the news cycle moves on and then there's earthquakes in Turkey and Syria and there's all sorts of other disasters. So I try to do my best to raise money and awareness around the floods. Okay. How was your experience working with Pakistani artists? Great. I love Sajal Ali. I think she's an amazing actress. Um I think she's incredibly talented and I I think she's a real star. Okay. Uh you are not in Pakistan I'm repeating this uh, question uh you are not in Pakistan uh but uh, Pakistani still love you. Why uh, what is the reason that Jamaima Khan is still in love with Pakistan? <laughs> oh goodness. Well, I have Pakistani kids. How Pakistani kids? Okay. I feel like I grew up in Pakistan. It's such a formative time, your 20s. I spent them there. Mm-hmm. And I get so much love from Pakistanis. way more than i get here <laughs> so i feel very close to the country and i don't know why you have explained but it's part of me now it's not going to ever be any different it's a part of me okay expectations about the film uh, it's going to be released on 3rd of march in pakistan yeah tomorrow it's from pakistan market um god well i'm a bit scared but i hope people will enjoy it inshallah people will enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much jamaima uh, it was a very nice interview with you and uh, uh, the love uh, the affection you have shown f- uh, to uh, pakistani people inshallah uh, pakistani will pay back to you thank you so much i appreciate it thank you thank you jamaima न्यूज स्टूडियो से फिल वक्त इतना ही अब शामिल करेंगे एक ब्रेक आप देख सकेंगे प्रोग्राम अब पता चला देखते रहिए बोल न्यूज